do you wish your child to be creative do you wish your child to think out of the box not just like anybody else like everybody else but think out of the box then let's see how you can actually nurture the creativity in the child even if you do not attempt to keep encouraging the creativity keep increasing the creativity at least what you can do so as to you so as you are not hindering your child's creative growth in his life hello this is sujaya and today we're going to discuss upon what is creativity and how your child your infant your toddler is already creative and what actually again what actually the usual parent 95 to 98% of parent does uh, 98% parents do that is maybe not so much necessary for your child's creative growth for your child's development in this creative aspect of life right so yes let's talk about what creativity what do you think is creativity creativity is create creativity is something is the ability to create something right even if your toddler usually at the age of 2 uh, or 2 and 1/2 years when the tot when your toddler is making senseless according to you senseless sounds with his voice even that could be creativity he is creating sound through his vocal cord right he is exercising his skill that he has acquired at that age or maybe when you are infant when you are infant a 9 month old or 10 month old who is crawling to the kitchen and uh, started banging on the utensils or uh, they just they just dropped a glass sound was created and he is repeating to drop the glass just to hear to that sound because he again there is a mix of curiosity and creativity in such attempts usually we cannot usually we cannot uh, you cannot say this activity is only for creativity or this activity is only for curiosity this activity is only for problem solving no it doesn't happen that way it, there could be creative problem solvers also right so usually it's a mix of creativity and curiosity for a child and various other att attributes for a child who is exercising his his innate skill that he has acquired at any phase of his life be it infancy or toddlerhood or preschooler or um 6 year old 5 year old 6 year old or 7 year old or 8 year old at any at any phase of his or her life right so now when the 2 year old is introduced to coloring usually all these things that you again buy in market that's widely available in market the copy color book that mandates the child to color the the other picture the color the picture that is blank which is the same colors that uh, in the previous copy right something like that so there's a there's a picture that's already colored with uh, using certain colors and the child is supposed to color the blank picture using the same colors then that means the child is able to follow instructions that means the child is able to pick the right color which uh, which is being mandated through that book right and uh, yes another another very very important stuff is color between the lines color between the lines why 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 should why should the why should the child start to color between the lines right when the child has started to pick up a crayon why should the color use the same colors right when the child is start, has started to explore what color is right the child has has just started to pick up colors the child is actually trying to understand what is this color what is this cylindrical shape object how is this giving color on my paper right your child is first bombarded with all those thoughts even before your child has got the time to process these thoughts to understand what's happening with the crayon when he holds it and he presses it or he puts it lightly what is happening what are the various different shades that i am able to get with just one crayon on a piece of paper are you giving the time for your child to explore this to study this the science behind colors and whatever and then even before your child is given time for all this your child is instructed or mandated to color between the lines with the right color color the sky with blue color water with blue color apple with red color tomato with red color brinjal with violet right and there are so many different colors of brinjal actually and even there are even black tomatoes if if you didn't know just go around and uh, google them 
and there are also different colors of capsicum right then why is the adult mandating the child to use a specific color for this for a specific object is water blue in color ask the child question the child let the child come up with an answer is he saying it is invisible color or is he saying it is in transparent color what is his answer what are his thoughts right and then is the sky always blue is the sun always red or orange just go out around sunset time 6 or 6:30 or something like that you will see so many different shades of uh, red orange mixed together from the sun just stay there stare at that sun and even invite your child and let him first absorb where are these colors coming from how are these colors created how did this crayon get this color and then let him color the sun red or orange or pink or whatever it is is the sky only blue just go around have a go on a walk go for a walk with your child go for a walk at various uh, at different times in the day early morning a little into morning say 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock and then maybe afternoon and then say evening and then say late evening or just beginning of night right and then just sit there along with your child and look at the sky gaze at the sky and ask your child what are the colors that you can see from the sky it is not always blue it is not always blue and there are again there are different different shades of uh, any color that this nature is actually exhibiting right yeah so the question is this when you are asking the child to color a specific object with the same color with the same color how can the child think outside of this mandated color you remember all these um, you know it or not all these hybrid vegetables with new colors say in capsicum and uh, even hybrid fruits and all of them that have new colors they've not uh, they, they didn't uh, they were they were created by scientists for a person to create an already existing fruit or an already existing vegetable in different colors that person had to first think beyond the mandated color and when your child is not given the time to think beyond whatever is mandated color the tomato with just red right when your child is not given the time the time space and freedom to think beyond the instructions how can your child who is actually already having these having the quality to think beyond whatever he is seeing he already has this quality it is just that when the child is following instructions all these qualities are killed right all these qualities are killed and if again these scientists whoever they uh, whoever has created these uh, hybrid fruits and vegetables with new colors they are only the top 2% or top 5% of the entire population right for if you want your child to stand there at the top 2% or top 5% who is actually creating new things your child needs to be given the time space and freedom to explore at this phase in his life at this point in his life otherwise these qualities that are already existing the exploring quality the experimenting curiosity creativity your child already has that you need not run behind classes creative classes summer creative classes oh my god uh, children are coloring so well let me also put my child into it Let's just give him the time space and freedom to create new things okay, why is there a reason for your 2 and 1/2 year old to color between the lines maybe because one big reason maybe because there are coloring competitions everywhere in every gated community at every age group there are coloring competitions and every school there are coloring competitions in every event there are coloring competitions new year event children's day uh, whatever kind of events local events that are happening there are coloring competitions for every age of the child and when can your child get a reward for you when can your child get that 10 on 10 for you when can your child get that a plus for you only when your child colors between the lines only when your child uses the mandated color the appropriate color for that object right so yes there is a pressure of all these coloring competitions and all running around you but what do you want for your child is the question you as a parent 
do you want your child to follow these instructions and do what is asked to be done or do you want to give him the time space and freedom right time space and freedom to think on his own to be with his own uh, creativity and do it and experiment it or explore it in the physical space what do you want for a child right now let me just narrate a real life situation a real life example of a 3 year old yes uh, a little less than 3 year old actually of a 3 year old uh, child so let me just tell you what happened there right so what happened was the child was the child was the child just had a coloring book uh, the child was not uh, the child had a coloring book and yes there was a picture beside it with some uh, the uh, usual colors right the tree is green has green leaves and all and uh, remember trees have various different colors of leaves there are some trees that have maroon leaves there are some trees that have i don't even know what the color what the name of that uh, color is right so your maybe your child can create his own name just go around and look at the pots and at the plants and the trees that are around you or maybe just on the internet there are so many different colors of leaves not just green everywhere right yeah so coming back to the real life example what happened was the child had a picture that was already colored and there was another blank picture that the child just started to color so the child was on, on her own right there were no instructions nobody was mandating her with yes do this do that whatever however it is here then do this and all right again there is no I'd like the usual thing when you are when you again when any parent or you insist your child to color between the lines color neatly use the right colors appropriate colors you have something else in mind oh my god my child needs to get 10 on 10 for this drawing competition or she she needs to, she has to get the reward or i can show this and you will definitely show this to all the guests that um, come to my home to my parents to my parents in law i'll take pictures and put it on facebook i'll take pictures and put it on instagram right yes all these things happen they are all common but just give your child the time space and freedom to be on his or her own and see what the what is the magic that your child can create so yes coming back to the real life example the child has just started to color this picture the blank picture okay the parent was not around she was on her own so yes after some time the parent just walked by and uh, she just seated the parent just got seated beside the child along with the child then the child was just uh, deeply engrossed in coloring 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 then uh, the parent has noticed that uh, the child has colored there are three trees okay three trees and a building as well a part of a building so two trees were colored brown and the third tree was she just started to color with green and the building was colored with black and brown mixed together both of them right and uh, the parent just wondered and asked uh, oh my god this tree is brown in color why is this tree brown in color can you tell me and so yeah a question for you if you present this coloring if you present this picture with trees colored in brown color and building colored in blackish brown color and you you present it for a drawing competition for a coloring competition or just in your class in your child's classroom if your child does this are you okay with it and will your child get 10 on 10 for that will your child get a reward for it i'm sure i believe it is a no there are other people who colored even more better between the lines using the right colors so obviously even the person who is actually giving the reward should actually think about it oh my god this fellow uh, this guy or this girl did it so well i think this person deserves a reward not this one that's okay that's totally fine but creativity is not about rewards creativity is not about rewards it is about giving the time space and freedom to the child to come up on to come up with his or her own thinking now when the parent asks the child uh, why are these trees brown in color the child replied what did the child reply just listen to this closely okay the child replied there was a fire in this forest and these trees got fire caught fire they are burning that is why i colored them brown the leaves are falling off okay and why is this third tree colored in green right 
Then the parent was, I mean, if there is a fire, then she can color all of them with brown, right? What's a big deal of coloring two trees with brown, another tree with green? What's the reason? So yes, why is a third tree colored in green? To this, the child replied, well, these two trees caught fire and as these two trees were catching fire, there was a big uh, wind that blew and took the fire in the opposite direction. Hence, this the third tree got saved and hence this third tree has green leaves. This third tree still has green leaves. So she had so much of imagination in her brain to actually use those colors in that picture, on that picture. If any child, it's not about the child again, it's not about that child, it's not about the parent. Question is, how are you speaking to your child? How are you, what are you wishing for from your child, right? If, is, it, is your child given this time, space and freedom to think, to create so much of story about a blank, a black and white picture? Is your child given this time? Or maybe hurry, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, you don't get so much time in the drawing competition. You have, to, you have to finish it up early, right? Again, it depends on, it depends on the environment that you are creating for your child. But remember, everything is in your hands. So the point is this. So uh, yes, children as young as even two-year-olds or one and a half year old, right when the child has, um, is holding the crayon, children are uh, asked to or are expected to memorize the colors and use the appropriate colors in their coloring, in their coloring books, coloring exercises. And they are also sent for the various competitions where yes, there are, they are supposed to be doing in a certain way and they are being tuned to do that way. And suddenly when your child is 10 year old or 12 year old or maybe 20 year old or 18 year old, 20, 20 year old, we keep maybe your child or you, both of you, we keep thinking about why am I not thinking out of the box? But who put the box? Who put the box in the child's mind? It was the adult who put this box. Sky needs to be blue. Water needs to be blue, right? You're, do you know, are you sure if water is always blue? Water is actually transparent, but it is represented as blue. But again, are you sure that water can always be represented as blue? Just go or go to a beach. It depends on the, it depends on the quality or um, the color of the soil that is present beneath the water surface, which, uh, which is uh, which is seen through the water, right? If it's a muddy beach, the water is that is seen is uh, is seen in brown in color. Right. In some beaches, the water is seen in whitish, creamish white color. Right. So there are so much, so many different shades that are actually appearing in nature. And if you leave your child alone, even your child will come up with many, many new shades about any act, any item that's actually present around him. Right. So the box that they, your child has been carrying since infancy, toddlerhood, and the child is now an adult, teenager, and then adult, the box is still being carried by that, by your child, by your adult child now. That box was implanted or installed by the adult. If, and then we are wondering, thinking out of the box, go think out of the box classes, creativity classes. But the child never had a box for himself. The child, the infant never put a box on his thinking, right? And then now we are struggling to teach children how you can think out of the box. How you can think out of the box, create thinking projects. But your two year old or two and a half year old when he was playing with mud, he was already thinking out of the box. Your four year old, four and a half year old doing something with the cardboard or thermocol, he was already thinking out of the box. Maybe it didn't make sense to you. It was senseless. It was irrelevant. It was wasting time. It was killing your child's homework time, right? All these things, all these were your challenges. But again, the question comes back to you. What are you doing to your child? What do you want for your child? That is something that you have to be aware of. And that is only when you are aware of your purpose. What do you want? Why do you want? Only then can you bring any kind of different thinking in your parenting journey.
And when you bring in a different thinking, it's not only that you win, but even your child wins. Cheers. Bye-bye.